Yeah, uh, as some kind of preview, uh, maybe I've been playing around with uh, means of communicating between uh, the, the force system and its surrounding environment. Uh, in my uh, major talk, you saw uh, the log messages. Um, and uh, what I want to show you is that you can really do many funny things with this. As you can see, uh, the force system has uh, um, Unicode characters, they are escape sequences, it has color, they are escape sequences, and uh, there's also the nice uh, property that you can output graphics on the terminal. And I would shortly explain how this is done um it's not just an ordinary terminal but it's uh, a terminal that is called kitty uh, as you might have seen during the conference i uh, have cats around so uh, i was attracted to that one and um, uh, there are kitties uh, is a terminal program where all the text is rendered as uh, as OpenGL, and uh, so its natural capability is also to display graphics. And it does this by escape sequences. And uh, so it uses the APC, which is application code, uh, escape sequence, escape underscore, uh, to introduce control care, uh, sequences uh, to the uh, terminal program. And one uh, is if the control sequence then starts with a G, it does graphics output and down below here you see a strange uh, language that is used to configure what's going on and you have to have a base64 encoded file name if you want to display a file in the terminal you have to have a base64 encoded file name but you can also include the raw data uh, the, the data uh, encoded there and uh, so you actually you say uh, take this from a file and uh, do some formatting with it and actually type this and then this is the file name of the uh, item and so you start with an escape sequence you end this with the escape sequence escape backslash which is the end of the application specific uh, escape sequences and then the terminal takes this interprets this and acts accordingly and so that's how we can have uh, Lena down there. Now we, we had her, we have that uh, at this place. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Let's see. Hmm. Like. Thank you very yes. much, Uli. Thank you very I've much. already okay. seen this at your last presentation, which is very cool. I still have to make a use case for this. But I believe, um, it... yeah, displaying graphics uh, like uh, charts, like uh, what Krishna wanted, dependency graphs, or something like ah, this. Ah, or, or like this, uh, the, the, the six cell that uh, that uh, Carsten was showing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can see yeah, that yeah, working yeah, very yeah. nice. It's, it, it's similar to that uh, uh, to that idea. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Thank you. Any comments on this? Yeah, I think I'm going to on which system is it running? It. Linux, uh, with Windows? Yes, uh, Windows I don't know, but Linux and I'm using Mac OS X here. And uh, yeah, so it's it's open source and you can uh, take the burden of compiling for Windows. It will probably work in the, how is it called? Windows subsystem for Linux. And so on Windows 10, it probably works. Okay, thanks. Anybody else? Yes, please, Clint, go just, ahead. Uh, just occurs to me that um, we were talking about the, was it D charts the other night, um, that you could potentially use that to display um, fourth code as a D chart. Which yes, you can. Very yeah. cool idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I'm just trying to think of something I could use it for. But uh... well, right. Bill's, um, Bill uses a lot of Greek letters in his code, so it could be very helpful for that. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah may maybe. Yeah. So what we can have is the decompiler that Anton uh, uh, showed us. Uh, see, and you get uh, this display. You have a side uh, on the side. You have also the D chart or flow chart. I know that Will Baden had these micro flow charts as well. So they are there very handy. 
Yeah, I think about that. So, but I, I have other ideas, and uh, so be prepared for next year. I will give you some some ideas of what can be done with this. Okay, thank you very much, Uli. Um, sure. Very cool thing.